School number 17 is a model community school. A little bit about the community that they serve. The Josana neighborhood is in Northwest Rochester. And in this neighborhood, 60% of the population are children. And only 20% of the adults in the area have a high school diploma. The students, the majority of them live within one and a half miles of the school. And the student body is 50% um, Hispanic, 41% African-American, 7% white, and 2% other. And 100% of these students qualify for free or reduced lunch. So how do you educate children when they come from families with high needs? Well, School 17 takes a multi-tiered approach. So first, they meet weekly to assess the needs of the students. So they'll look at things like attendance or behavior. And if they notice something like one student has been absent a couple times in the week, then they'll reach out to the families and find out what's going on. So they find out what barriers there are for their children or what issues are happening at home that are resulting in maybe a missed day of school or a behavioral issue. And this can be a multitude of things. It could be something like the car broke down or um, they're having a housing issue or they may have had a domestic violence issue. So the next step that the school does is they provide direct access to various resources. So instead of just handing out a phone number for Willow Domestic Violence Center, they'll actually have Willow come to the school and they'll arrange a meeting so that that family can meet with that resource. And they have a multitude of different organizations that they work with and they establish and maintain what they call a win-win partnership. So the organization is able to meet the needs of the population and they are also able to meet the needs of the community. And then not only do they establish or help facilitate that relationship, but then finally what they do is they evaluate the utilization of the resources. So after they have established the meeting, then they look back and they say, okay, what's going on in this relationship? Is the family getting the help that they need? What kinds of issues might be happening? Were they able to meet with the resource? Did they get what they needed? So School 17 doesn't just link people to resources. They're a hub where families can access the programs that they need. They actually maintain a community room. It's set up kind of like a living room. So it's a nice private meeting area that's comfortable and convenient for the families. On site, they have a health clinic and dental clinic. They have behavioral and mental health services. They, of course, have early childhood education. They offer assistance with SNAP and TAMP benefits. They offer legal services, youth program, youth development programs, workforce training, some housing support, food assistance, and uh, many other programs. So what about education? Well, all students at the school participate in an expanded learning day. And what this does is it offers the opportunity to add time for individualized instruction and learning experience that go well beyond the traditional school offerings. And School 17 has a very impressive menu of project-based learning, arts integration, and dual language enrichment programs. What they're trying to do is meet the needs of the whole child. So with their multi-tiered system of support, School 17 can address the physical and the socio-emotional well-being of the students, as well as the families. And they can improve student learning and adult learning and strengthen families and create healthy, engaged communities. So a community school brings together the strengths of the students, the families, the teachers, and the community for the common goal of improving the academic success of young people. So if you're motivated to help and support School 17, there's quite a few opportunities to do so. So they have some ongoing projects that they're always looking for help with. They have something called the Help Me Read program. So this is when you donate an hour of your time every week and you meet with three different students. So you meet 20 minutes with each student and it's the same three students every week. 
and you help them read. So you might read to them depending on their grade level. You might help them read the books that they want to read. And because you're working with the same three students every week, you really get to establish a, a nice relationship with these young people. They also have a need for some virtual learning assistance because of the remote learning that's going on. Many times the students, when they have their time for independent learning, so they have their face-to-face -face or they have their um, live learning time, but then they also have the time when they're supposed to be working on projects themselves. And this is an opportunity to go and help these students um, work on whatever tasks they need to have done to provide any kind of mentoring or tutoring that they might need with that. And then they have a variety of after school clubs that they're always looking for help with, uh, one of which is a robotics team. So if you have expertise, skill, or interest in that, you can also volunteer to help with that. And they have a variety of one-time projects too. So for example, the school has an on-site food pantry, so they're always looking for food donation. So a food drive would be a great way to contribute to that. They have a community garden, and one of the things that they really need is a potting bench, but they need somebody to build a potting bench for that. So if you have any interest in gardening or carpeting, carpentry, carpentry, then um, you know they would love some help with that. They do an annual coat drive every winter for the students, so putting together something like that, collecting donations, delivering donations, that's another way that students can help. And finally, every year they have a Minority Professional Career Day. So what they want to do is really highlight um, some success stories and inspire students to see um, you know, what possibilities they might have in the future. So if that's something that you feel like you could be a role model for, they are looking for people to present at that.